What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video. Before getting into the vlog, I want to talk about a topic that is it's kind of been like reoccurring and honestly getting really, really frustrating. And that is the fact that YouTube keeps changing things up. This came to my attention because the other day I was on YouTube and in my head I was like, man, you know, I haven't seen Casey Neistat or Yoon Olsen post anything in a few days. And usually I like to keep up with their videos and like that, those are the people that I watch when I'm like doing my cardio. Like, man, I haven't seen anything from them in a while. I go to both their channels and I am apparently unsubscribed, even though I've been an avid subscriber and viewer for, I guess that means avid, whatever. I've been a viewer of their channels for like over like a year, year and a half, two years. And then I was like, you know what, man, I haven't seen Rob post anything either. Is Rob even uploading right now? And of course, I, like Rob's one of my best friends. I was just on tour with him and I go to Rob's channel and I'm unsubscribed and he's our athlete. I've been subscribed to him like forever. and. It's just, like, how can I be unsubscribed from people that I've literally been watching? Very frustrating. And then uh, Becca's been told, telling me like, hey, on my, I'm from Becca's account, she's like, none of your thumbnails are saving. So it's just random screenshots instead of like the thumbnails that I actually edit and put time into. And I'm sure that doesn't happen for everybody, but it's happening for some people. On top of that, a lot of people aren't getting notified when I am uploading. And I'm not in this to make money through YouTube. My revenue is down 75, 80% from where it was. And because of all the stuff that they're changing, I don't care. I don't literally don't care. But the, the issue comes down to like, when you put so much effort into something and into creating like this, this, this content, right? Creating this vlog, creating these edits, hiring a deal, flying to these places, bringing, buying camera gear and like all this stuff and all this effort goes into this. You of course want people to view it, especially if you feel like you can provide some value. You want people to see that. If you're an author writing a book, you spend all this time doing your book, right? You, you want people to read your book and it, it's just very frustrating, man. Um, the recent updates and stuff now, like on a YouTube homepage, instead of videos that you kind of watch, a lot of times you're going to be seeing whatever's trending. Apparently, YouTube's kind of like picking who they want to push, and it's just not really, I don't know. A lot of you guys are, oh, you can't be complaining. You have a lot of subscribers and all these, and it's true. It's just like, it's frustrating for everybody. Solution, solution, solution. If you guys can give me one favor, please, please, please. Check it out. If you're watching this video, it probably looks, your screen probably looks something like this, right? So if you guys can just go to this little bell right here, the notification bell, if you guys, next to the subscribe button, if you click that and just click send me all notifications and save, I would really, really appreciate it, guys. So if you do that for me, I'd be very, very grateful. And if you guys enjoy the videos, then why not? So thank you guys so much. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. Here we go. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Saturday. I've been up pretty since pretty early this morning. Now we're here at the gym, and today is actually the very first day that I brought my car to the gym. There, and uh, I have run it a few times, and there's a building over there. And I used to park like on the opposite side of that building to be super secretive and stuff. But I figured, you know what? Saturday, haven't driven in a while. Let's go for a drive. Let's go to the gym, not hide it anymore. So to welcome to the commentary. Check out the inception. You guys are seeing exactly what I am seeing here on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and narrate this workout for you guys so I can use my hands and demonstrate a little better, all right? So the first movement was a incline barbell bench press. Now, this workout's very simple, but once you start working out for a long time, it's very easy to kind of get your habits, right? You start improvising your workouts, maybe your following structure, but maybe if you are improvising, it's easy to kind of do the same sort of structure without really realizing it. So it's nice to try the workouts out or try this workout out in your routine. But incline barbell press with number three tips. <laughs> number one, you see a lot of people not actually touch the bar of the chest. Be sure you're popping your chest out and retracting your scapula as much as possible. So you do touch your bar, on, you touch the bar on your chest, get a four inch of motion, and don't let your wrist fall back. Keep your wrist straight, nice and strong, and pretend like you're gonna bend the bar on the way up, okay? That's a tip on the incline. Second movement was a K-1 
cable fly. Now, this is another variation of cable fly, which I really, really did enjoy and recommend you guys to try. It's just a single arm cable fly. So you get on the machine, uh, set up the cable at about your waist-ish level. Uh, so not super high, not super low. Set it up right in between, bring it one arm at a time. And in my opinion, it's nice to do a, a single arm. Sometimes you see people do like a single arm dumbbell press or they rotate. And it's nice just to really like focus on one pec, if that makes sense. So try it out. Uh, on the incline, we did four sets of like eight reps. I used, uh, what was it? I think 205 pounds, roughly, or th yeah, 295 or 305, something like that. And then on the uh, pec deck or the cable fly, I went four sets of like 12 to 15, just really focusing on the squeeze. Next movement, because we did an incline first, then we did a fly, uh, I did a decline hammer strength. If you wanted to replace this with E, 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 what is E? A wide, uh, like a wide press or a, or a flat or an incline hammer strength, feel free. But I do like changing up how we did barbell, we're doing a machine, we did some cable, and you get a nice variety of exercises and machines, right? So four sets here, uh, about 10 to 15 reps. And then the next movement, let's see what it was, it was a tricep cable push down. Uh, another staple, really, this is actually, this tricep rope is a little bit like taller than the standard rope and I really enjoy it more. I don't know why exactly, but uh, I'm loving it. 15 reps or so and on these like, I don't really count my reading to here. My form's like, wow, this guy's giving me advice. Look at his form, it looks like crap. On the last few reps of some movements, if I'm doing like a bicep curl or tricep, something that's not so compound, right? Compound movements are your big, your bench press, your deadlift, your squat, your overhead press. If I'm doing an isolation movement, it's okay to kind of use a little bit of momentum to really pump out the last few reps and just pump as much pre and blood in the muscle as you can. So on tricep push downs, on bicep curls, you might see me cheat a little bit towards the end. And that's sort of like a tool that you can use in your training on smaller movements, give or take. Take that with a grain of salt. But uh, next movement, tricep machine push down. Really like this machine. You could do dips if you want, or weighted dips. It's just a different variation. And I finished off with a reverse grip cable tricep. So that's gonna actually a little bit more of the, uh, shoot, anatomy, long head, medial, and try oh God, lateral, medial head when you're under hand. That's correct, I believe. Could be wrong. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for uh, sticking with me on this narrative, narrative commentary thing. <laughs> Love y'all. Enjoy the vlog. Workout complete! Energy for YouTube, because the YouTubers are doing the most energy! <laughs> 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 Don't YouTube my camera! My camera's on and I'm crazy! Babe, you didn't work out hard enough. You have that much energy right now. You know what? I'm happy that I don't like turn my switch on for YouTube. You know? Like so many of these YouTube peeps, nothing against it at all, but I feel like it's like a pro. I always forget. What are acting skills on the ground? Um, there's like the people. Why is it still doing that? Yeah, there's people that like really turn it on for YouTube. They're like, oh my god, on camera, and they're not like that in real life. But I feel like I'm pretty much the same. No, no, uh, you don't care about me no more. Or what? Have you been taking your? Uh oh. What? Oh, that's why she didn't come down. What is that? Come here. No, no, no. Come here. No. She hides by me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're in trouble. Come on, Nala. Come here. Come on. Come here. Right here. Right here. She's really sorry. Why'd you do that? Look at me. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know why she's doing that. How Christian punishes his dogs. <laughs> no, she has to say sorry. She does. But, but honestly, I, like, I wouldn't punish her. She didn't do that. No, no, she doesn't feel good. Like you can. Yeah, tell. I think, she's I think sick. there's just. I think you need to get her new dog food. She's Not sick. new one, but maybe that's like just like a bad batch of food. It's weird. She only went twice today. 
How is she? Are you sick? She doesn't feel good, sick. babe. She's sorry. You can't punish her because she doesn't feel good. My third bite meal for the day, chicken and rice. When I'm stocked up, guys, like when I'm home and stocked up, this is literally all I eat. Like for real. So this is all I eat. I put some garlic pepper and butter on my chicken and that's gonna be my post-workout meal. Six fat, 44 carb, 49 grams of protons. What's up, man? Sonny. That's a sick wolf, dude. It's August 21st, and I am currently, you guys haven't even seen, you're like, where the heck are we? This is Heidi's new apartment. She just finished moving stuff out of her house like last week, and like currently in the process of moving, so everything's kind of like, <sighs> disastered. Uh, but we're here for the week, and we're gonna help help out, right? So it's Monday, she's off uh, with beating company stuff, work stuff, and Nabil's here, we got a video up this morning, and now we're gonna start filming, but I'm, I'm sure, do you think she'll be mad if we give a tour when it's all messed up? Whatever. Uh, real quick, it's a sick spot, you got like two windows, you can see downtown, San, or all of San Antonio, really cool. Um, this is like the living area right here. We put the couch on the rug yesterday. Uh, awesome kitchen. You want to see the coolest part about this place, though, in my opinion? Check out. You're not. You're never gonna guess this, bro. This is so sick. This is this is so sick. All right. Watch. Okay. You get your water, right? Come on, you gotta get the fridge, bro. Okay. Okay, ready? It tells you how many ounces you're getting, bro. That I've never seen that in my life, man. All right. Look, four, five ounces, six. I want exactly eight ounces, man. Look. Wait. Oh, eight ounces of water right there. You know exactly how much water you're drinking. Uh, Heidi does have a roommate. She's out of town right now. Casey Catanzaro, the American Ninja Warrior. Awesome. And she lives in here. Uh, so there's a bathroom here. Sorry, Casey. In there. Really nice. This is Heidi's room. Uh, as cool as like all, all the windows that come with blackout shades, so it's kind of dark in here. That's pretty sick. Bathroom closet. Um, so yeah, this is, I'm gonna be spending a good amount of time here, you know? And I like it a lot. Nabil and I don't have a car or anything. I, I Ubered Nabil over here this morning at 5 a.m. I was like, Nabil, because he was working on some stuff and I had accidentally taken something he needed. So I was like, you know, just came to San Antonio for a few days. So Uber him here at 5 a.m. He got here, got the video up. Now we need a haircut. Look at that. Yeah, I, I need a haircut kind of like on the sides, but Nabil needs some trimming up. So he's been asking for a while. So we're going to find a haircut spot. Like Google it and call some places and uh, see if we can Uber to a haircut. Let's do it. Oh. Are you drinking any drinks? Gargoyle. Yes. We made it to the barbershop. This is where Google brought us to. Here are the befores and here are the afters. There we are. Look at that transformation. Damn. Feeling clean. Feeling clean, man. Looking oh, good. Way and now we are uh, about to head to the camera store to pick something up real quick. The camera store just needs some stuff. Tomorrow. Mm. Thank you, man. Have a good one, man. All right, thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. All right, guys. The net. Wait. All right, guys. Made it back from the camp. Gosh, man. All right, man. You too. First thing we picked up was a Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4. Uh, this is my all-time favorite prime lens for video and photo, and this has been our go-to lens for like two years, but it finally broke down on us in Aus or on the tour and is no longer usable, so replacing it, that's what we're using right now. Uh, also picked up a Sigma 85mm 1.4, which I've never had before, and I'm really excited to use. And lastly, a tripod head for our slider, because the slider's not usable without this, so. That's what I picked up, and now we're here outside of Gold's Gym. I'm about to get a workout in, and we're gonna film a sick edit, but 
I'm gonna end this vlog here. I feel like we have enough footage and all that for this video. So gonna end it here, start the next one midday. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, the little notification bell, click that for me, get notified. Thank you guys for your support. Love y'all, see you in the next one.